Is yoga enough? Yoga is a very popular form of exercise that is used by many people, but is it enough? There are many other forms of exercises out there that can be used to help you with your fitness goals. This article talks about, is yoga enough? Is yoga enough exercise? Yes and no. There is not one single answer because what works best for somebody else may not work well for another person. Some people find that incorporating other types of physical activity in their life helps them work out better while others are happy with just doing more frequent consistent sessions, like three days per week. The key component is finding what's right for you and your needs so if you're looking at adding some variety into your routine then feel free. Is yoga enough to lose weight? While there is not a lot of conclusive research on how much yoga is enough to help with weight loss, some people find that they have better success when adding in other types of physical activity. This is because it's easier to lose weight and keep off the pounds if you're increasing your heart rate through different methods than just doing one type of exercise over and over again. Weight Management Tip When trying to reach or maintain an ideal body mass index BMI, always remember that diet is most important so make sure it is low in saturated fat, cholesterol, sugar, sodium, and processed foods. If you want to lose weight, try adding these types of physical activity into your life. Cardiovascular exercise. Activities that get your heart rate up and cause you to breathe hard is a great way to burn calories, tone muscles, release tension in the body. Plus there is plenty of research on how it reduces stress. Strength training, weightlifting, time spent is time well spent. Lifting weights is one of the best ways to increase muscle mass which can help with weight loss because they require energy for upkeep. Stretching, flexibility exercises. Staying limber is important at all ages as we lose flexibility due to aging or injury. Good yoga practice helps improve this area but so do things like walking around during commercials breaks while watching television or getting down on all fours and doing a doggy version of the downward dog. Is yoga enough strength training? It's true that some types of exercise work best when combined together such as strength training and yoga. Strength is important for building muscle, which is needed to burn fat. The root of many health issues such as diabetes, heart disease, high blood pressure, and more. Yoga is one of the best types of exercise for strengthening muscles because it is done in a manner that is low impact. This means you can do these exercises at any age without causing damage or injury to joints or bones while still getting benefits like increased flexibility, coordination, and muscle tone. Yoga, while is not an exhaustive workout alone, is perfect to be paired with strength training for a well-rounded fitness plan. This is because it helps increase balance and stability which are essential when lifting weights or doing other types of resistance exercises that can place strain on joints. It also allows the body muscles to relax after being used. This is due to yoga's low impact nature but is still very effective in terms of recovery time after exercise. Though they don't work together as efficiently as some other forms of exercise such as running or cycling, pairing up these two activities will offer benefits you wouldn't get from either one done separately, like increased flexibility and muscle tone without causing joint problems. Is yoga enough to get toned? If you want to have a slim and well-toned body, it is good that you take up exercise. Yoga is one of the best ways for maintaining fitness as it focuses on breathing techniques, poses, and meditation. It is also important if your goal is weight loss or better muscle tone without bulkiness. While many people think that yoga alone can help them achieve their goals in terms of getting fit, they are wrong because there is no such thing as cardio involved. When doing this type of workout so unless you do other exercises like running along with yoga sessions then chances are high that you will not see any changes in your physique at all. In order to start shaping those muscles, you will have to do other exercises as well. You can start by doing a short 10-minute circuit with yoga poses and then move on to running for 30 minutes or do half an hour of bodyweight exercises like push-ups instead. Is yoga enough of a workout to get toned? The answer to this question is a hard yes and no. Yoga can be used as part of an overall fitness routine, but it does not provide the same intensity or resistance that other workouts do for building muscle tone. It also doesn't build mass in the arms like lifting weights would. Legendary weightlifter Lou Ferrigno said, I am going to say something controversial now. If you want to exercise your butt, yoga classes are great because they work on flexibility and balance, and if you need help with both those things then I recommend yoga over squats. Is yoga enough cardio to tone your body? 
Experts say that in order to be healthy and lose weight, you need more than just yoga. Some people have found success with only doing yoga for fitness routines but the problem is that they don't know how many calories they are burning or if their stomach fat has been reduced because there is no way of measuring it. If a person wants to see results from their workout, then experts agree on at least 30 minutes of moderate intensity exercise four times per week. For maximum benefits, 60 to 90 minutes of cardiovascular exercise three days per week will help burn calories faster which helps reduce belly fat as well as strengthening bones and muscles. Yoga alone cannot provide all these benefits so those who want to get toned must exercise in a more intense manner. Is yoga enough to build muscles? Some people find that yoga is not enough to build muscle. Yoga can help you stretch and strengthen your muscles, but it won't give you the same kind of toning effects as weight-bearing exercises like running or cycling will. Weight training builds muscle because it forces your body to work against more resistance than when doing just cardio activities like walking or biking. So in order to get a full workout for both cardiovascular health and strength building, invest in some dumbbells. Now, yoga is great for stretching your muscles and making them stronger. But it won't get you as lean or toned as weight-bearing exercises like running will because these activities force your body to work against more resistance than when doing just cardio workouts such as walking or biking. So in order to get a full workout with both cardiovascular benefits and strength building, invest in some weights.